Welcome to Electron Online. Well, here we have the second part of our list as all the various ways in which statistics can be misused. And again, it cannot be stressed enough how important it is that we can rely on the integrity of the statistics and the method of statistics because after all, a lot depends upon the value of that and how well it's done. So here, the next one is called time scaling. Quite often, they only show us this very small snippet of the total representation of all the data because that small snippet is exactly what they're looking for in order to, to sell a certain narrative. But if you show the whole period, then you can see that there may not be as much importance or relevance to that small snippet that they were misrepresenting. Also, data sampling. What they will do is they will choose a sample that is not necessarily representative of the whole population. Again, to choose, they choose a particular sample that is not representative of the whole population and then infer that the whole population thinks the same way as a small misrepresented sample. And also geographical location. Well, they may pick a sampling of a particular geographical location that has very different habits or opinions and so forth than the population that we want to represent. So again, also, it could be that it's only from a very localized geographical location rather than a little sampling all, all over the place to get a better representation of the whole population. And finally, using test subjects that are not necessarily neutral or not necessarily unbiased, that may have biased opinions and therefore they may give you untruthful answers. For example, it's very difficult to find out if high schoolers are actually using drugs or not. Are they going to be truthful in how they respond to the questions? Of course, if they feel there may be ramifications, they may answer the questions very differently than if they know that there's no way in which the answers can be traced to them and therefore they feel free to give truthful answers. Again, how is the question asked and how is the person giving the answers protected from any ramifications of talking about perhaps very sensitive subjects? Now, it all boils down to this. People have to tell the truth or statistics don't mean anything. And that's the bottom line. Statistics, well, I guess you could say they mean a lot if the purpose is to misrepresent and mislead people, then of course they mean a lot for that particular purpose. But if what you're interested in is truthful, factual data that can guide us according to the real principles of statistics, then we need to get the true facts. Otherwise we can say yes, the statistics don't mean anything. So therefore, it is a very important topic and we will learn how to discern between how data is being presented to skew it in one direction or another direction. I've seen graphs that are based on the very same data set, but simply how they're presented will give you a complete different picture one way versus the other and that we have to learn how to discern and how to be able to tell the difference. And that is how it's done.